major signs which are connected to one another. As the Prophet والسلام, says in another hadith, that are like beads in a string or a necklace. If you cut it, all the beads will start falling one after the other. And that's how the 10 major signs will occur. The moment one of them will occur, then the others and the other ones will follow. Hudayfa narrated that once the Prophet وسلم, came to us while we were talking about the signs of the Day of Judgment. He told us the Day of Judgment shall not occur until you see 10 signs before it. The smoke, the Dajjal, the beast, the rising of the sun from the west, the descent of Isa ibn Maryam, the coming of Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and three earthquakes that shall shake this earth, one of them in the west, another in the east, and the third in the Arabian Peninsula, and the tenth of them, the final one of these signs, is a fire that shall appear from Yemen, and it shall gather people or force them to go towards their place of resurrection, meaning towards the actual location where the Day of Judgment shall occur. This is a hadith narrated in the Sahih of Imam Muslim. Akhir zaman is the most dangerous time of all to live. It is the age in which mankind would be tested with the greatest of all tests and trials, not even the companions of the Prophet would have experienced such tests and trials. And so if you're living in Akhiru Zaman and you're seeing the tall buildings going up before your very eyes and you do not wake up to understand the tests and trials which are the greatest of all, then you deserve the fate which surely awaits you. The major signs, the Prophet ﷺ described it as a cable with beads. If you cut it, what happens? All the beats fall, but they're all linked to one another. So if one comes, the other follows. Ibn Hajar writes, discussing the order of these events, it appears from combining all of the narrations that the coming of the Dajjal shall be the first of the major signs that shall signal the changes of the lower world, meaning the earth, and that this shall conclude by the death of Isa ibn Maryam and that the rising of the sun from the west shall be the first of the major signs that shall signal the changes of the higher world, meaning the skies, and this shall conclude by the actual day of judgment. And perhaps the coming of the beast shall be on that very day that the sun shall rise from the west, for the rising of the sun from the west shall signal the closure of the door of repentance. Therefore, after this, the beast shall appear and differentiate the believer from the kafir. And this is the perfect conclusion of closing the door of repentance. And the first of the major signs that shall signal the actual commencement of the Day of Judgment will be the fire that gathers people together." End quote. All of these ten major signs shall occur one after the other in the space of a very short time. For as soon as the Dajjal appears within the space of, as the Prophet ﷺ told us, 40 days the first day of which is like a year, the second day which is like a month, the third day of which is like a week, Isa ibn Maryam will come down and he shall kill the Dajjal and the rest of the signs will follow one after that. Obviously, we don't have any precise timeline, perhaps the same year, perhaps a few years, only Allah knows. But the point being, when one of these 10 major signs come, the first of them being the coming of the Dajjal, the rest shall follow very, very quickly.